welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new office studio. And after moving house, I finally got a little bit of time to do a nice little fashion video. What's new in my wardrobe? Spring outfits. I'm saying that as it's literally 12 inches of snow right outside my window. Not really feeling the weather is appropriate for these kind of outfits. Just done with winter fashion. A lot of this I haven't even tried on. Just have a cute little fashion and styling video. You can find some outfits you like. Claim them as your own. So let's get started. We're going to start with this outfit that I have on now. I was in Sports Direct just looking for some things for the kids. Like I saw all like the Slatin Slattinger stuff. They had a lot of like the Sophia Ritchie range. But they had loads of like pastel like little tennis dresses. But I did see this jumper and I thought it's just so cute for just every day. And I put it with these, which were such, such a good purchase. They're almost wool, but then they're not wool. So they're easier to wash. They are like the most comfy elastic waistband. I got them from Urban Outfitters. I can never find them online. And see if I can find them to link below. One of the best things I've bought in the last few months here. Of course, just always living in my Tasman. These are the sesame color. I really do want the platform chestnut though for spring. So if anyone sees them in stock anywhere, please, please let me know. I love it just like a basic white ribbed t-shirt at the moment or like a vest. And I found these ones from Topshop and I needed to show you because they just fit so lovely. So I wanted a really good one to wear layered under things. I got this linen shirt recently from H&M. This is how, one of the ways I wanted to wear it. I just thought this is such a cute like casual but very chic little outfit. I think my Gucci sandals that I bought last year are going to absolutely come into their own. I'm so glad I got these ones. These are actually men's. The women's ones I don't think are as nice. They don't have these like double buckles. Like spring outfits, so easy to style. I probably fit it just with a really simple little bag but I always get these kind of linen style oversized shirts from H&M every single year. I live in them from now right the way through to autumn. I love this and I think you guys are going to absolutely fall in love with this jacket the way I have. Beautiful embroidered jacket which I found in River Island. I saw it when I was out shopping a few weeks ago and I was this close to buying it and then I didn't and then I couldn't stop thinking about it because when I went online, there was only extra small and small left and then I think it's actually sold out now. But oh my goodness, I'm just obsessed with it. I love little jackets like this, but it's just something like really unique. And I remember wearing a lot of kind of outfits like this, maybe like 2004. Three. It was very like white t-shirt or white tank cape or like detailed jacket. I loved that look. Like my era when I felt really good in clothes. Oh, what a ramble that was about a jacket. Do we like? I love it. I'm obsessed. You're gonna see me living in this. And I put like this faux fur jacket over the top so you could just see this bit poking through. Oh my goodness, it looked so good, I loved it. This little bag, oh, I've had this so many years. It's this cute little like foam bag. I always bring it out in spring and summer. It was from Receipt Empire. I'll see if they still have it in stock. I love these jeans. These are such a good purchase. H&M, I have them one size up and they're like super baggy on me. So I got these and they're a size eight. So a bit more dressy. These shoes, I'm afraid, are, woo, are old Zara, but I'm sure you'll be able to find something very similar. I, so yeah, this is my cute outfit. What do you think of this? I feel like this is such a chic, easy to wear little outfit and I really love it, if you can't tell. I actually tried, this is the first time I've tried it on. I didn't really know what I was thinking because it's not really something I normally wear. I think for spring, I'm just feeling a lot of like prints and patterns this year. I bought this and I thought maybe like work meeting, date night in spring, and I kind of like it. It's 70s vibes. I do like the sleeves, the way that they're like elasticated and like a long sleeve. I went away on a girl's holiday in May. It'd actually be so nice, like over a bikini on the beach, wouldn't it? I don't know if I love it with this outfit. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's kind of nice with doing like a little half tuck. I feel like it's very effortless, you know? Like something you could just wear at the weekend, jeans, little bag, let's go for some dinner or something. I do love these shoes though. These, all oh, my toes come out of them. <laughs> These are really gorgeous little flats, kind of flat, they've got the tiniest heel ever, 
um, little top shop. Absolutely love them. Actually really liking River Island at the moment. Not anywhere I've shopped in years. I like it. What do we think? Do I keep or do I return? I love this so much. I've been wanting to get a pink sweatshirt and I saw a really nice night like, one. It was quite pricey. I was like, I don't know if I want to wear it. I wanted something a little bit, a little lower price point. I don't know whether I'm just going through a stage. I don't know. I would have thought a year ago I'd be stood here in a pink sweatshirt, but here we are. I got from ASOS, I think it's like unisex, but it could be men's. I'm not sure. I'll link it below anyway. I love it. And I've got a silver bag, but I love it. It's so different. And I really just like, Love this outfit for spring. Lovely jeans, cute sweatshirt, tasmans. I just need the platform ones. And this little bag is Primark. I got it like at Christmas. I actually really love the silver and the pink. What do you think? Do we like? Do we love? I think it's cute. This oh, was such a find. I found it when I was just out shopping for stuff for the kids. It was in Next, of all places. I never shop for clothes in Next. And it just caught my eye and I was like, I need this jumper, it's the cutest thing. I mean, I did size up. This is like an extra large or something. I went out, like shopping, whatever. It's cute, is it not? I'm wearing it just at home with like cycle shorts. I think we need to do like a front tuck with it or do we leave it loose? I kind of like it just loose. Give me like 90s vibes, you know, like the grungy. Not too grungy because I'm a girly girl. So let's throw it on and be comfy for the day. And then I feel like the shoes just make it look a little bit more chic rather than like homeless. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Who knew next could come through with something like this? Okay, this is the first time I tried this dress on. Like I was so excited about it. And I'm just feeling a little bit underwhelmed. I've got size eight. I kind of wish I'd sized up. I feel like the sleeves need to be like bigger, flowier, and this just, it's got like elasticated here. Then this belt is also sitting really funny. And what are these? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these? Too much going on. I it with these boots. I love these boots, by the way. These were only bargain. I got these boots from Mango. In store, they were 80 down to 30. I thought they would look really cute with this, and I feel like they don't. So then I put on my cowboy boots, and now I just look like I'm in fancy dress. I would wear it more. Then even that doesn't work. Oh, it's such a shame because I actually really loved this. Working for me. No, I'm so annoyed. If you have an event or something to go to and you don't know what to wear, I could just find the perfect dress for you. It feels so comfortable in this. This girly, a little bit unique, classy, comfortable. I do have like a skimmer's bra on today. You would probably wear it without like a bra like this, but you get the idea. This is so gorgeous. I feel like it looks so chic. It's fully lined and I think it looks a lot more expensive than just ASOS. I like it with this look as well with like gold accessories. Even this, I don't have anywhere to wear it at the moment. I'll find somewhere to wear this beautiful dress. I think you're probably gonna notice from this video, I'm just living in like sweatshirts and baggy jeans, shirts and wide leg trousers. Like, I mean, I've always been a homebody, but now more than ever, I am the biggest homebody <laughs> since we've moved. So I'm just living in comfies. I love it. The men's range in H&M. I keep telling everybody, go and check out men's H&M. They have some amazing like sweatshirts, even jackets and stuff, and they always sell out way slower than women's. Men are like slow. They don't buy online, do they? They just go into the shop. And it says plants about plants. I thought it was really cute in like 90s. And then it also has it on the back and I've been living it. So I had to include it in the video because it's just the cutest thing ever. I think this is basically gonna be my mum uniform for spring. We're just gonna switch out the like baggy joggers and jeans for baggy jersey like sweatshorts. I love these ones. There is something about this colour and I say this every time. This like washed charcoal grey just always looks like a little bit more expensive than it is. The ASOS little shorts. They're a little bit baggy, like sized up. I love this jumper, this green. How nice. My Tasman, white sports socks. Such an easy outfit to wear. It's cute. It's my favourite outfit of the whole haul. That brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It is so good to be back. 
and have this amazing space to create so much more fashion content. If you are new here and you're not already subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button. I've got the biggest H&M haul coming for you next. Everything is linked in the description box for you. If there's anything I couldn't link, I found something similar for you. Let me know in the comments which your favourite are, what you bought yourself, and, and let's have a little catch up, and I will see you in my next video.